Why are you over here trying to take my air? You're like the cat trying to steal my breath when I sleep. <laughs> I can't do that. That's if I took you and went like this, like a troll doll, your hair would shoot out. That'd be cool. You want to try it? <laughs> no. Exactly. I want you to stay on that side of the camera. I'll steal your soul. I'll eat your heart. I'll eat your soul. Yeah, that, that's what it was. He used to be cute. He could do creepy little children voices from horror movies. That was actually stuff. not from horror movies. That was from Little Nicky. When the, he was sleeping in the dude's apartment, he's like, No, it's I'll actually from when I wake up in the middle of the night and you're staring at me going, I'll eat your soul. No, it's actually not. It's from Little Nicky. Uh, morning. It's weird having a demonically possessed child. Like, it's just something I've come to live with. I can hear you. He can't really hear us. He's yeah. just saying that. He sees our lips moving and he wants us to think he can hear us. He can't hear a thing we're saying because there's a force field because the Lord protects me from him. Uh huh, sure. Sounds logical. He's like a cat that does more tricks. <laughs> it's like a cat with posable thumbs. Cats don't have thumbs. Stop they have rocking. a dew claw. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well. I'm sore. Why? I'm working out. Just throwing that out there. What'd you do? I'm actually a from. Did you go to the gym last night? Back day. My lap keeps cramping up. Dude, my armpits were cramping up after we did back day. Shoulders are sore. It makes me excited. My Which elbow muscles are really sore. It helps me tense them up like that. It's a good stretch. <laughs> Justin's coming to town. We're going to do uh, chess tomorrow. Chess are we taking the camera? To the I don't know. I mean, I think we are. Yeah. Y'all. I think that's what's happening. If Justin's going to the gym, we're taking a camera. <clears throat> but while he's not here, I'm going to take this bacon and cut it up because I'm going to get it According to all the uh, CrossFit people, that is uh, totally okay because there's no carbs. According to all the it's paleo stuff. It's, yeah, it's CrossFit candy. According to um, the Atkins diet, Oh, some motherfucker ate all the bacon off this other layer under here, thinking they'd be sly. Probably Cody. <laughs> Probably Sebastian. I didn't eat any bacon other than what you put on my You were in here sneaking bacon yesterday? No. Cody evidently does have a love for the bacon. Yeah. I, yeah, I ate three pieces, so I'm about to eat I feel pretty guilty. All of the rest of it. I offered him some. Who? Cody. Yeah. Cody Kins. Cody Kins. Shut up. What do you look for? I don't know. Something else to put on the eggs. Have some jelly. You have some jelly? No. Here's some honey. Try to drizzle some honey. I don't want honey. Let's try to get honey on a flour product. I've never done it. Honey is good in a biscuit. <coughs> you have some biscuits? No. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> mm. I'll bring you some Hawaiian bread. You don't like Hawaiian bread? Yeah, no, I, I do like it. I just don't want it. No. Not another sound comes from that direction or you're going outside. Hmm. There's so much as a mouse part. It gets the whip. <laughs> don't make me get the hose. It'll put the lotion on the basket. Lotion in the basket. Put some lotion on the side. That looks better. Yes, it does. I just don't like the beans. That's funny because you're a little beaner. Well, oh, Pueblo, that's what it was. Pueblo. Pueblo. Or as Justin Cole would say, I'm his little cocoa bean. It's a strange thing for another man to call me. You got some. Got a little. I'll get some more too. Nope. As soon as I, Made it, me think of it'll be back. Like if you'd been like, oh, I know, I know. 
Because he's like, got that milk mustache. He's like, we're going to Belgian beer. So I knew, I knew. Mm-hmm. and rice are the highlight of my day. I'm not hungry. Mm. I'm always hungry. But if I eat anything later, I go to the gym, and then I'm fucking yeah, up from eating shit. later. So I gotta eat now, but I'm not hungry right now. Yeah. You know when I was hungry? At fucking 3 o'clock this morning. Did you eat? No. Woke up and have a shake or something. Keep you a shake pre mix by the bed. I don't want it. Just don't want to shake? You wanted like... A bowl of cereal or something. Mm. I always want a bowl of cereal, followed by five more bowls of cereal. Isn't my growth hormone at the highest when I sleep? So really, I should have a bowl uh, of cereal. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you're never okay with a bowl of cereal. Just gonna keep adding shit on here. I was gonna say sooner or later it'll be overpowering, and I'll throw it away, or the combination will be right. <laughs> this no longer tastes like eggs. This tastes like not eggs. Shoulders today? Shoulders it is. I happen to like shoulders a lot. One, because I have really good ones. It's our shortest workout, which I love. It's also one of the harder. It is harder. That's, um, shoulder, shoulders I like. I actually, I'm so glad we don't have like a designated arm day. I fucking hate training arms. Dude, biceps and triceps are just so. Monotonous and we don't even really train arms like we do. We do, we do compound we do. movements that train them, but there's no reason to, you know, sit and do preacher curls all day long. One day we do curls, the next day we do some more curls and some tries. Mm-hmm. Yep. And the curls are at the end of a back workout to help to straighten your body and to stretch back out your bicep and everything like that. There's purpose behind all of it. It's a, again, like I said before, it's a hypertrophy base. You just sent me a hard hat. I saw it. It's pretty cool. So I think we should your dome wheels. when you drive at home. I think you should wear that at all times when you're like mowing and working out there. I'm wearing a lot of bills. Ooh, we could put a light on it. Tactical Pablo, Uncle Lance, John Willis, Rest Awesome, Sweet Group. <clears throat> hey, gang, I hope you find this find you well. Look forward to seeing videos and hearing the stories about Blade Show this past weekend. In close, you will find. Somewhat of a gag gift, I mocked up from for the fearless but not indestructible leader of SOE. Actually, I am indestructible. It didn't stop me. I know it's been a little while since the T-Post driver injury, but I thought everyone would get a kick out of this. We did it. We laughed. Jason from Brothels, Texas, past orders. He lists a couple of them. I've been involved in public safety and paramedics since 91. Got into shooting sports a couple of years ago. Long story short. But I found you guys on YouTube from jumping around Jaeger, Mookie, and other gun videos while I was laid up in medical leave having a bypass surgery in the middle of January this year. Hmm. I spent most of my days in the house watching and gingerly laughing my ass off, catching up, I'm pretty sure, almost all of your videos. I liked most your tactical weekend operator. I like most of your tactical weekend operators, became a fanboy. On the way you fire ass at customers, and because of that, I started ordering gear. I love the EDC belt and other gear I got, as well as a couple sail cocks. They look great on the dash of my ambulance. Ah, uh-huh, sweet. You I should love, send pictures of that. I love the people that email you who have who you have changed their lives by getting motivated to to do stuff and better themselves because of y'all's inspiration. I, for obvious reasons, quit smoking, lost 25, 30 pounds, and am eating better. I just went back to full duty on the ambulance a week ago, hit the gym three days a week, and had my 43rd birthday Sunday, 7th of June. My birthday is also, um, I'm also 43. Uh, I missed out on tactical response coming to Central Texas for fighting pistol here recently, but it gives me all the more motivation to make a drive to Tennessee to take a class in Camden and come visit you guys at the clubhouse. Colin, congratulations on the wedding, even though you're black. Lance, I hope you are well. And have a great day. John, I hope you like the gift. Turn that shit off. And for everyone at SOE, 
keep up the good work and God bless. That's cool, man. Actually, I do, I do like this. It's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, like when we were all at the farm working, like I wish we all had little hard hats. But you want more like that 31 flavored baseball hat, the one that, that comes with a cut, that the, all the kids in fourth grade have. <laughs> the little tiny one that only covers like one tenth of my skull. <laughs> if I fall down wrong, it'll break. Colin said he wanted his to have a propeller. <laughs> no, thank you. Mm. So she would take off the window, grab you, and. Well, then what would you do? Fly away. And I'd be gone. Whisked away over the rainbow. Any thoughts for the morning? Mm hmm? Thoughts for the morning. If you're fired from a job, you really wanted to use the guy that fired you as a reference for your new job? It is interesting to me. And also, I've, uh, I only, I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only one. Like how many times can you tell somebody, if you do this, I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. If you do this, I'm going to fire you. And you continue to do it, you continue to do it. There's a meme, <coughs> not a meme, it's a, it's a letter somebody wrote. Some guy fired this dude and he asked for a reference letter. So the, the business that fired the guy wrote a reference letter and basically said that the dude is absolutely useless. He excels at doing nothing. In a multitude of tasks. In a multitude of tasks. Um, he's really good at Facebooking. Um, there was a bunch of other shit. It was pretty funny. It was funny. Um, so that's the, uh, I was going to say, it was, I, I've never i never actually been fired ever. Um, I quit several jobs. But I still only use the ones that I wanted to use as a reference. As a reference. I definitely never used, the, I had two jobs that like when I left, I left like, like I was kind of mean about it to them because they were disrespectful to me, but um, but I didn't use them as references later. Like, had anyone talked to my boss, they probably would have been done. Well, I don't know if they just say anything bad about me, but they just didn't like, me, which I didn't like them either, so it's fine. But I don't, I'm sure that's the case with most people. Like, you don't put down your bad experience and tell people, "Hey, you're gonna want to go talk to this guy because we had a really bad falling out." <laughs> that's awesome. Whenever you're asking for a job, too. Like guys will come in and ask, hey, are you hiring? Why are you not working right now? Why are you not at work? Like that always raises a flag. And when the dude starts complaining, you know, about how unfair it was and how his boss was just an asshole, I know I don't want to hire that dude because I am a fucking asshole and that dude isn't going to make it here. Yeah, I never went to get a new job without already having one. No. I always, like, if I was going to do that, like, I just knew that I needed to get a new job. I'll always have something. Especially in college, like, you can't go without a backup. Always have a backup. Yeah. You've always got two. I couldn't imagine not having two jobs, you know? You had a real job, and then you had a hobby job, or part time yeah. job. Yeah, like part time something. Something of your own that you had going on. I did not want to. Good for you. Well, then more should be better for you. Clean up like this. Mm -hmm. How many am I supposed to take, too? Uh, yeah. Definitely eight. And 28 of those others? Yeah. Yeah, the website's sort of low in the Sweeney Nutrition right now. However... We got a bunch coming tomorrow. Yeah, the, there will be, will be restocked tomorrow. And it'll get put up later that evening or whatever. Um, one thing I do, I did notice we had a lot of was the Champ Iron Aminos. Uh, I take these like with every single meal. Price points low too. Yeah, it's it's, it's one of the least expensive things. And I don't know if it's that I saw a lot go out in this past run of them. Um, I don't know if people didn't get it, but it's desiccated liver. But basically, it has all of your amino acids in it, and it's one of the few places that you can tr get true protein uptake without. <laughs> having to feel full like so if, more if like for John John has he gets tired of eating everyone who's been on diet for any length of time and you're eating a, a, a like a scheduled amount of food you'll get tired of eating stuff like that is a great way to still get that protein number in there on the day because you can add eight grams here eight grams there and it, you know eight grams four or five times a day it adds up to a pretty good bit it's a whole additional meal it's pre-digested and it's really really good for actual 
protein in the body, actual muscle growth, actual, you know, diet needs. Um, I'm anxious to actually try them. Hunting season's coming up, so I'm going to try them. He was telling me that he had some dudes go out out in like west uh western america or whatever like elk hunting or something where they like walk for a long fucking way western america you mean like colorado or yeah somewhere. yeah like out west i just don't know where there's elk yeah hunt. it was probably colorado and he was saying that you know i guess you have to pack light because you walk so damn far out there and so the dude had champ dry protein and he had a thing that purified water i guess so he could like fix water anytime he needed it but he had that and he had a thing of those Plus, you know, he had some, like, meal replacement bars and stuff like that, but to keep him from having to pack, like, lots of pots and pans and stuff like that, he was able to eat on that stuff while he was in the field, and it was useful. But I know just to get your protein in, if you've ever been in a deer stand for any length of time or just out sitting waiting for creatures, you know, whatever, whatever you're hunting, it's, it's cool, but, like, you know, hunters are notorious. Like, you have to go get a big egg and biscuit and all that shit before you go hunting because you know you're going to be there for four or five hours without eating. And it's just a good way if you can pop five of those in the stand if you're diet-minded or you're fitness-minded and you don't want to have some sort of, like, loss during that time period of the year, this is an easy supplement to add in. And that being the case, people that do the intermittent fasting, like our buddy Jordan, um, like a lot of people do, the people that are doing shooting classes or if you're traveling a lot, this and the amino six are great things to have with you to travel you can put 10 of those in a bag that's two meals worth add it in there you know if you have a bar you add that into your meal you've got a whole lot of red meat type of protein in your body without having to have had a steak or whatever but. So, something else with them is they don't go bad so like guys that are into food storage and food prep and preparedness stuff um, you can easily put these in your storages with all your mountain house and all your you know your canned foods or whatever, they're not going to go bad. You can put these bars, like I've got ammo cans full of power bars that are fucking 10, 15 years old. They got a, an off taste to them. Um, the texture's not right. They're dried out. But push comes to shove, I mean, short of, if you had nothing it's to better eat, than eating fucking cat and dog food. <laughs> so yeah. you, can, you can store these with that shit. I, I have a lot of food storage in uh, a few different places. I've got a lot of dry goods and five gallon pails that are, you know, uh, with uh, O2 absorbers and stuff in them that are Mylar bagged. I've got a shitload of Mountain House food. I've got a lot of protein. Like I buy, I was buying protein before I was using cleaner proteins. I was buying any kind of isolate protein I could find that was cheap. Mm -hmm. And what was happening was like, um, where do we buy from? Muscle Warehouse? Or? Uh, Muscle Warehouse, I think is where you're going before. So I think it, uh, no, never GNC. GNC, you pay twice as much at GNC for anything else you can buy on Amazon for half price. Um, GNC stays in business because people are lazy. They're very, very well branded, more power to them, but as a consumer and, and as people, I'm talking to people that I care about, you're buying our products obviously. Um, anything you can buy at GNC you can get off Amazon for half price, you can get from uh, muscle and fitness warehouse and different places like that and they, there's a lot of benefits to using those other places they send you a bunch of free shit like I've got fucking shaker cups fucking I got so many shaker cups like when they get really dirty I just fucking throw them away they send us one with every fucking order um, but I would buy up tubs of, of protein and I had I would buy literally because if you buy it's like $15 flat shipping so I would buy a hundred fucking tubs of protein at 25 bucks $2,500 worth of protein Fifteen dollars to ship it. I've got tons of that shit stored up. It doesn't go bad. It hasn't lost its flavor. I've got shit sitting back there, but it's coming up at the expiration date, or it's coming up in their inventory where they they've got to bring new shit in. It wasn't selling, so they clear that shit out. Um, I give that to my employees. You know, when they want when they want protein or whatever. Hey, I've, I'll sell you this stuff at cost. I've got this other shit. You can take some of it. We open it up every now and then. In, a, in an emergency situation, some of the, like the banana protein and the fucking chocolate protein, in an emergency situation, morale boosters are a big thing. You add some cold water to some of that chocolate and banana, mm -hmm. make it thick, <clears throat> let it sit a little bit, it's almost like fucking pudding. You can make it thinner, you can add, you know, dehydrated milk to it, whatever, powdered milk, and um, it just, you know, it's good, it's easy to store it up. Oh, we were just talking about you. Come over here. Come here. I brought... I brought some some more racial diversity with oh. me. I'm not even I'm not even upset that it's you. Usually I'm like, who is this motherfucker coming in here? Oh, it's another. Story. 
Or no, that's... You brought a yellow man? Come here. What are you guys talking about? I, I thought that was this. I heard the term powdered milk. Uh, we, we were, were just talking, talking about, about food storage. We had okay. some of these. So we buy up. I talked to Justin and he said those would be really good for you if you want to look into those. What ones? They're the desiccated liver. It's kind of like your oh, liver, okay. but it's just like a higher quality kind. But I've been taking them for a while, but they're well, really so good. Oh, now we're yeah. done. So we're talking about like muscle warehouse. You're going to have the whey isolate protein for $25 a tub. If you buy, you know, it's $15 flat rate shipping, so I'll buy 100 tubs of it. And it sits here and get, doesn't get used, but I save it for food storage. You know, you can take the banana and the chocolate, mix it together in a stressful situation where you would have to use food storage. You know, any little morale booster goes a long way. Just shit like that. That's a good one, man. Protein um, powder, excellent. And, and these, like, they're fucking, they're solid pills. They're not in a capsule or anything. They're, they're, they're literally fucking protein. It's whole amino acids. Yeah, just a little it's desiccated liver. You could put these on a shelf and fucking 20 years from now these things they might have a little discoloration but the protein's not going to break down. Right. And they're they're not expensive. That's what we were just talking about. That's we have nothing to talk about really so we were just talking. Desiccated liver, man. But that's, you ever that's had what that? I want to talk about. Have you ever had? Is, it, like, is there any not, like flavor to it? No. Or no. Or there's nothing. No. What about like burps? Uh-uh. Not bad. Okay. The, the, so these, I okay, with food. I was taking back before, and I told Justin this, uh, I was taking Unilivers before that, which is by Universal. Um, oh, yeah. It's the same thing. They're bigger, they're not pressed as hard, and um, they're evidently not as pre-digested, which is what you want, because otherwise it's a lot of red meat just to eat like that, just raw red meat. And so, like, Unilivers, like, I could, like, probably take the paint off these walls after I eat too many of them. It's pretty <laughs> bad. However, those, like, I, I literally never got gas and I never got, like, an upset stomach from them. And I take 15 a day. I forgot that liver is, like, the best source of a million different yeah, it's vitamins what, and minerals. Because it's, yeah, what, makes, it's what makes the aminos in your body. Right. Like, your liver is your amino storehouse. I had a girlfriend who worked at, like, a holistic medicine acupuncture place. And, and, like, and, like, whey protein was new. Like, nobody knew what the fuck whey protein was. We were buying 50-pound bags of whey protein out of the back of, like, Muscle and Fitness or Bodybuilding Magazine. And it would come in a 50 gallon trash bag in a box just taped up. And it was this powder. We don't know what. It could have been fucking sawdust for all we know. It didn't mix up. It tasted terrible. Your shaker cups didn't exist. So you're trying to whip it up with a fork or put it in a blender. And no matter what you put with it, you couldn't disguise the taste of it. So Thankfully, this doctor she's fruit. working for gets wind of this. He's like, oh, you need this. So he gives me this bottle and it looks like a, a laboratory bottle like it doesn't look like a healthcare product it looks more like a hair care product bottle he's like this is what you need it's cod liver oil or whatever the fuck it was Icelandic cod it was something fish and it was fucking terrible if I take two tablespoons of this you know with every meal and you take that shit and you would it would stain your teeth like it could have been fucking peroxide for all I know <laughs> but you would taste that shit for an hour. I'd like, it didn't matter what you, what the crazy shit you did when you were a kid. They're like, oh, this will make you big. Hey, uh, you guys turned me on to the Swinny Aminos? Yeah. Dude. You like they them? They taste good. They're I'm good. Like addicted to them. They're yeah. good, aren't they? You can drink yeah. them like juice. That's the problem. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can't, you can't take like four scoops in a gallon. Yeah. And try to sip on it, but it's like easy to just start mm, pounding it. Yeah, yeah. You can't get too much of it. Like your body will secrete it out if you don't, if yeah. you're not. Right. If you're drinking water, you might as well have it in there. Yeah. Right. But it, it man, it's it keeps you going. It keeps me going. It does. I mean, it makes a difference. It is good stuff. It's you know, like I I I drink it anytime I have water. I have flavoring in there. I use the aminos. I use the the um, tropical explosion. I use the 